In our last video, we displayed the results from the Open Weather Map API. So if we try to search for a, for a city, Miami, we get the results, the weather, the weather description, temperature, pressure, humidity, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, wind speed, and wind direction. Right now, what we want to do here is for the temperature, pressure, humidity, speed, and direction, we want to add the units. For temperature, because we are making use of the, if we go to our weather.js, we are making use of the uh, units, uh, that is the metric units, our temperature is in degrees Celsius. Whereas the pressure, the unit for the pressure is in hectopascal. Humidity, the unit here is in percentage. So if we go back to the open weather map, you can see it's here. For temperature, we have uh, default unit Kelvin, but metric unit Celsius, imperial unit Fahrenheit. Since our unit is in metric, it's being returned in Celsius. Then for pressure, the result is, or the unit is hectopascal. That's what we have here. Then for humidity, the unit percentage, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, same as Celsius. Then for wind speed, the default unit is meter per second. Then for metric, which we are using meter per second, but imperial miles per hour. We are not using the imperial. We are using metric, which is meter per second. Then for wind direction, it's returning the the unit is in degrees. So we are going to add all of these units. So first, we come down here. We want to do for the temperature, pressure, and the rest. So the first is for temperature, we add this, which is going to be, we add the ampersand sign, then degree, which colon, then we add C. So this is HTML code for degree. And it's going to display the degree. Then C is for Celsius. Then for pressure, we just add hecto, hecto Pascal. Humidity is simply in percentage. Minimum temperature, we can copy this out. Maximum temperature as well, we copy that. Then wind speed, meter per seconds. Then for wind direction, is in degree. But we don't need the C, so just in degree so we've added all of the units to this let's go ahead and see how it looks now so Moscow here we can see now we have all of the units so for temperature degree Celsius for pressure hectopascal for humidity percentage minimum temperature and maximum temperature we have the unit degree Celsius wind speed meter per second so what I'll do here let me just give some little space here then just a refresh okay so we have all of these units now now what i want to do now is here i'll add the icon which is the this icon we have here if i try to just return this weather dot icon it's going to give me the code let me open this looking for list here list of weather condition codes now if you check all of these icons here the images they have uh, a code here so if i just return weather dot icon it's going to give me this value here but if i put this inside an image tag using this link then it's going to return the image itself so first let's return the um, code so we can see how it looks so here let's try to see if we can um, return um, let me see okay data dot weather with the index zero dot icon so we have this let's just see how let's get the code for this weather icon we'll refresh the page now since we're getting an error here so we'll see 
here you see unexpected identifier yeah i think we are getting this error message let's take this one out first so now we can see that we are returning the code for the weather description then if we type madrid so the code is going to de depend on the type of weather or the weather condition so here we have all of the data for clear sky at, during the day is going to return this image at night is going to return this image if the weather description is few clouds during the day it will return this image at night it will return this image same with every other weather description if it's rainy then during the day it will return this image at night it will return this image so let's go now ahead and add so instead of just doing this we're going to put this inside uh, an image tag so we can take that out for now and we are going to use an image tag let's put the image tag here so we use img and we'll add the source um, which is equal to this now the source we are going to be making use of is let's come here it says how to get icon url we just copy this we copy then we come here we add the code but we, what we are doing now is we are not going to just put the use the values like this we are going to generate it using the data.weather.icon so let's go ahead first and refresh the page i hope we don't get an error okay we are not getting any error so for this code weather code 10 id this is the icon so now note that every image is going to have the dots png extension so what we are going to do here now is we close this and we add the code then inside here we are going to do data dot weather then with the index zero dot icon so and we must add this dot png extension to it so we're adding here instead of just putting the code itself we generate um, get the code whenever the result is being returned so can change this to double quotes so now we uh, the source for the image is from http openweathermap.org slash img slash w then we are adding the weather icon from here the weather icon we have here this is the weather icon weather dot icon so we are adding it here this is the index the way we got these values that's how we are getting the icons as well then we're adding the dots png extension to it so let's go now refresh and let's try telling now at this point the weather is clear sky so we're having this because for day as i said earlier for day it has its own icon night also has its own icon for clear sky the day icon is this the night the night icon is this let's look for another city um let's try madrid now moderate rain you can see for day the icon is this then if we try new york and we search we can see the icons being displayed so what we've been able to do is we've added the icons and also added the units to the values now what we can do is we can add a padding to all of this so as to move them a little bit to the right so to add a padding we can do that inside here just add a style style then padding left so let's set it to about 40 pixels so i'll just copy all of this then just paste inside here so i want to give it a padding all of the tests
now I have the padding left let me go ahead okay so for you you can do it whichever way you want you can design or style the test and whichever way you want for me I'll just leave the style like this now what I want to do is if the user tries to submit an empty form now we can see that the error message is displayed here I want the error message to be displayed here inside and also using bootstrap alert so I'll come here instead of this I will just use let's go and look for bootstrap alert let me go to W3 schools okay um bootstrap 3 then what we're looking for is alerts so and there's going to be alert danger let me just reduce this so we want to display alert danger then what we need to do is we just need to copy this um we copy this let me look for something easier okay let me just copy all of this div then take this out we put them inside quotes but now we need to change all of these double quotes to single quotes then for this as well it's going to be single quotes close then data dismiss alert this as well is going to be close now what I want to do I don't need this I don't need all of this so I take this out now the next thing I want to do is I want to add our test our test says field cannot be empty but we are not displaying alert success instead alert danger so let's go ahead refresh the page let's try to submit now we can see we are displaying the bootstrap alert danger that says field cannot be empty so we can just decide to add a style to this or let's just make this appear at the center so let's see here add a class tests center so refresh okay now we have it at the center then we can just add a style font weights um 20 pixels no the style is not being added to this let me see let me try something else okay it's not working as well so I don't think we need to apply the style here okay to make things easier I'll take out this style and take out this test center as well so what I'll just do let me just add an ID see error city so we we'll go to our styles the CSS and add an ID of error city so we set the width to 50 percent font size 25 pixels and test align center so we'll go back let's refresh okay now sorry percent not pixels percent so now we can see and set the margin auto refresh the page now we can see that we have the test right now we can reduce this to 20 pixels 
So we click on search. We see that the user cannot submit an empty form or an empty input field. Then we can clear this out. So if we type um, Lagos and click on search, it's making the API call. Okay, we get the results returned. So with this, we've been able to um, use the Open Weather Map API to return weather data of cities around the world, about 200,000 cities, as we have in the documentation. So you just type in any city and it's going to display the current weather information. So you can use, if you go to this API, you can use the Open Weather Map to get weather forecasts, um, historical weather data, and other types of um, weather data as well. So we've added this and we've managed to do all of this.